Hi, and welcome back. This is our first ever weekend vlog, so I hope you stick around. We've got some fast-paced cleaning action and some fish tank cleaning action and all kinds of all kinds of fun stuff for you here. So, I hope you enjoy. If you have any suggestions or if you have any questions, just please either comment below or let me know. And we'll just get started with this weekend. Here my husband and I are just cleaning up the kitchen from the night before. It was just something we weren't able to get to that night, so it was left over for us in the morning. This is definitely not ideal, but it happens a lot more often than we like to admit. fish tank was long overdue so it's about time that I got this done so I'm just gonna go through and clean the bottom of the tank this week and probably not next weekend but the next weekend I'll actually go in and change the water in the canister filter so I know it's not good to change the water and the filter at the same time so here I'm just changing uh, the water in the tank and cleaning out the bottom Another task for this weekend was to rearrange Eric's nursery because he did receive a dresser from his grandpa. So the only problem with this bedroom here is that it is quite small. So we're trying to figure out how exactly we can rearrange all the furniture and then also have all of the cords that we need to plug in completely covered so he can't reach any of those outlets. All right, guys, what do you think? This room is awfully small, so I'm thinking we need to eliminate the toy box or the toy stand. What do you think, baby? You look good so far? Okay. Pumpkin! Hey, baby!
swimming out back it was hot uh, and we have not finished this room that is the thing about this household is we start a project and a whole bunch of other things come up we never finish anything so or at least it takes a long time so 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 far and we've been in here playing so I kind of messed it up again but so far we've got his toy rack here now I still got some stuff in the hallway to put away his toy rack here his crib there, pretty much in the same place. But now we don't have a bunch of cords. All the cords were on this outlet here. Now they're behind his dresser, his new dresser. All right, so we got that over there. We took out the toy box. That's now in the living room, I'll show you that. And I think he's, I think he's scooped us out. <laughs> Hi, baby. Come on. And just making some turkey tacos for dinner. Well, Grumpy here, we've got the carpets all rolled up because we were removing the chest there. Oh, now we got another one rolled up. Boop. Let's go show them your new toy box. Hi. So we have the toy box over here now. This was actually my toy box when I was younger. Um, I stripped it and then, cause it was painted white. So I stripped it and then just refinished it with the wood grain. And we're generally out here most of the day playing um, with the toys or reading them books or we have the TV on sometimes. And um, it's just more of a central location. I am starting to play with him in his room a little bit more. So we're enjoying that. Um, but yeah, we're just starting up dinner tonight, and it's been kind of a hectic day. Um, so yeah, did a did a little bit of cleaning up here and there and moving stuff around. That's a pretty typical Friday for us. Oh, baby. Yeah, eh. yeah that's exactly right. So we're going to get dinner going. So we'll see you later. See you later. Good morning. It's the next day. So Eric actually just woke up from his first morning nap and I'm going to go ahead and get our bedroom all cleaned up here. So we've got just our typical mess for every morning, make up the bed, that type of thing. So we'll get our bedroom cleaned up and make the bed and get that in order and then we'll head out for the day. We'll hopefully do something fun. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Are you ready to start the day? Okay. So we made a trip to Walmart. We had to get a couple things from there. And now Mr. Eric is enjoying some yogurt. Look at that face. Yummy. 
yogurt. have some yogurt as a little snack here and we may end up reviewing a Korean barbecue place a little bit later on. So that's our plans, but for now we're just going to have a little bit of yogurt snack. Say we'll see you later! Do a little bit of socialization. So the Korean barbecue place, I do not recommend going there. I mean, unless you make a lot of money um, and you're okay with spending way more than you need to, then certainly it's great for the experience. Um, so our bill was $90 for three people and we ordered seven portions. So, or however they classify it. So, if you order bulgogi, then you're gonna get enough for like one serving. I guess I should call it that. We ordered seven servings. Um, and the vegetables included, they were seasonal, like two rings of onions, um, a couple mushrooms, and two zucchini pieces. So, you have to order multiple portions or multiple servings especially when you're sharing with, with multiple people. So our bill was about $84 and we only left a $5 tip because again, we did not eat that much and it was $84 um, for three of us to eat. Plus we're cooking our own food. So literally the person just has to bring it out you know, to us. They did change the grill so that was nice. Um, but yeah, I don't recommend going there. Um, you're gonna have a crazy bill. We thought we were going on a lunch day special, but apparently the lunch menu is only for Sundays. So the lunch was $14.99 per person, and the regular price is about $22 per person. So yeah. I don't recommend that. But we had fun, it was a good experience overall. The staff was very friendly. Uh, as you could see, little Eric was eating food too, so they got a kick out of that. Um, but we probably won't be back. We're just gonna fold a little bit of laundry and take a bath for the evening and then probably sign out for the day. <coughs> but we'll see you tomorrow to finish the vlog. See you tomorrow.
Have a good night. Hi, baby. Good morning. <laughs> Is it cold, sweetheart? So we've got two peanut butter toasts and a strawberry for the morning. Stack. 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 So remember how I was telling you that we had the pink blanket or throw on top of the bed because the cats like to lay on the bed? Well, I apologize that I lied because apparently the cats lie under the blanket if you didn't know. Hi Mowgli. The purpose of the blanket was so you weren't on the white Comforter, kitty. Okay, well, I'm glad you're comfortable. Have a nice nap. So I did do a little shopping at Ross today. We have a friend's birthday party. She's turning one. So I got her just a little book here. And then this really cute little dog pull-along toy. Yeah, so I thought that would be really cute for a one-year-old. Eric's working on his incisor teeth here versus his front teeth, which should be coming in now, but he's doing things his own way, so he's been a little bit cranky today, so I haven't really filmed him much, but he's been down for a couple naps today. He's currently napping. So once we get up, we'll probably just hang out and, and fight the grumpiness of the teeth coming in. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here. We've got plenty of footage for you, so hopefully you find this interesting. Um, I know I like to watch people's routines on, on their weekends as well. So today's pretty much been, we just got up and I've been running around the house, getting some cleaning done and did a little shopping, got a birthday present. Yes? No, nothing, honey. Just, you know, what you're doing. You know, creeping, creeping on the <laughs> vlog, I'll add it in. What? We'll see you next time. Bye.